Hi guys, this is Rocky D Rays. Welcome to another video tutorial on Converge.js. This is the second tutorial, and I'll be talking about creating a circle in this tutorial. So, if you have not watched the previous tutorial, I highly recommend that you do so because we spoke about stage, layer one, layer two, shape one, and adding shapes and layers, two layers and stages respectively. So, all right. <clears throat> Let's get started with this tutorial. So the first thing that I've already mentioned is that we add a script element. So if you go to this page, which uh, whose link is available on the Converge.js main page as download, and also I'll I'll put up this link in the description below. So if you go to that, you get this uh, link, which you have to insert uh, as the script over here. Unless you do this, you won't be able to work with this. So there is basic knowledge of uh, adding uh, frameworks to your projects. You need to insert these scripts. After that, you create a uh, division element. Uh, give it an ID of whatever you would like to call. You can give it container because container is the basic uh, recommended one in this tutorial. But you can give it anything as you wish. So let us say, you know, give it something called bucket. So let us start working with uh, how we'll be able to create stages and layers and shapes. And let's see how we'll go further ahead with this Converge.js tutorial. So, to get started, we have to create stage as I was already mentioning. So, how we create stage is that create a variable called stage, or you can call it anything as you like, as long as you can refer back to it. So, after this, uh, you create a variable stage is equal to you give something called new Conver capital stage. You give something called new convert dot capital stage and fill it with a function. So in the function, you give flower brackets in which you'll be able to give in parameters or attributes. You'll be able to pass parameters. So in this, you need to first of all give something called container. And for this container, you give the give you pass back the name called bucket. So essentially, what we're doing is that we're telling the stage that whatever container I've created, it is called by the name of bucket so create the uh, javascript whatever you're creating uh, so it says that hey javascript create whatever i'm trying to create and put it up in the division element called bucket so this is what the container uh, attribute does after which you can pass another parameter so what you can uh, do is that you can give a width uh, let us say 400 and you can give a height of 400 as well <coughs> Alright, so we are done with uh, the stage part. So this is how you essentially create a stage. You give a variable called stage or whatever you'd like to call. But over here, you need to follow these names, uh, these naming uh, the nomenclature properly. So convert.stage as well as uh, container width and height, these have to be taken care of properly. Alright, so after this, you have your task with creating a layer. Let me run this first of all and let's see that there's nothing happening over here. Alright, so as you can see, there's nothing happening because we need to create a layer and a shape and then add them both to respective layers and stages. Alright, let's get uh, ahead. So, how you create a layer is uh, almost similar. You create something called variable layer and then new convert layer and and you uh, give it a semicolon and then you're done with creating the layer because you're not passing any attributes as of now. Alright, after this you need your task with creating a shape and in this tutorial we'll be talking about creating a, uh, a circle. So I'll start off by creating a variable called circle. Variable circle is equal to new convert dot capital C circle. So make sure that you put in capital C or else it would, it would not work. Okay, so first thing you need to fill out would be uh, you need to give a radius. Let us say a radius of 40. And let us give it a fill of uh, let's say blue. Alright, so when I run it, we see that nothing happens because I need to attach these things back to the layer and the layer back to the stage. So essentially how I do it, how I do that is I go ahead and say that layer dot add and uh, pass the variable uh, of the circle back into it so this is how i give back the uh, give back the circle into the layer and similarly this is how i pass the shape 
we lay her back to the stage so what i need to say is that stage dot layer stage dot add and pass the variable which is called layer so let's see what happens after this all right guys i have given a small l as you can see so that is why it was not working so long all right so do not make the same mistake that i have made please uh, so as you can see it has eaten up a lot of time uh, i have just given a small l because of which it was not working all right so as you can see you have a quarter of a circle and i would like to ask you why you have a quarter of a circle so since you cannot answer i'll answer that for you over here that is because the center of the circle is being put up at 0,0, 0. So let us say we have naming uh, we have uh, Cartesian coordinates as 0 comma 0 which is x comma y. Well, you might have come across this in your uh, elementary school or your high school. So similarly you have something called uh, Cartesian coordinates or coordinates in uh, JS uh, framework as well in while representing vector graphics. So the same thing is followed over here. So what you need to do is that you need to uh, you need to specify the center of the circle over here the reason I'm telling this after representing this to you is that I want to show that uh, you won't be able to generate the full circle if you do not specify X and Y coordinates so let us say I specify the X coordinate as 100 and let's see what happens so as you can see the whole circle has moved uh, towards right so that means that this is working so similarly you have to give something called y coordinate for the center as well so let's say 100 and let's see what happens okay so as you can see we have uh, successfully created a circle with uh, blue color so you can change the color over here in the fill attribute fill parameter or you can call it whatever you would like to but technically i think it is parameter okay so we'll leave that to the uh, programming ex experts so you get the point uh, and also I would uh, suggest that you go ahead to uh, htmlcolorcodes.com where you can find several colors to work with. You will be able to find uh, any kind of color and the HTML code for it. So you can go uh, over there and fill it, fill this with uh, the color of your choice. Let's say 340A81. So if I fill this let's see what happens so all right so as you can see we have a uh, darker blue color so you can change all this at will uh, with your uh, fill attribute you can give whatever we would like to give it so let's say green and you will get uh, all right you will get a green color all right so as you can see you have uh, a pretty good circle over here so this is how you essentially work with uh, Converge.js for starters so if you change the x and y coordinates the circle's position changes you can even change the radius of the circle give it 100 if you would like to give it or else you can give it 300 as well oops this is 3000 sorry all right so three uh, it's not getting uh, complicated because uh, we have the width and height of the container over here to be 400 by 400 so if i give it 100 if i give it 150 Let's see what happens. All right, so you can see a beautiful big circle. So this is how you work with Converge.js, guys. And let's get started with uh, various other shapes in the next few tutorials. So keep watching these videos, share them, like them, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter as well, and I'll leave all the links required for you to follow through below in the description. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.